This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am, a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about the Anunnaki world order. First, a couple jokes. Yesterday I saw a guy spill all his Scrabble letters on the road, so I asked him, What's the word on the street? <laughs> and what do you call a pony with a cough? A little horse. Today's video is to show and display a historical value on the potential, you be the judge, as usual, of the story of the Anunnaki gods who started civilization for mankind. This story is to show you God's glory and man's symbology, or perhaps where we are today, from the golden age to now. The biblical writers did not put names to God or the Lord gods attached. However, this does not mean that alien Anunnaki gods and or the biblical gods did not have names or planets. And planet Ea, or Ea equals Earth. The presence yesterday, today, and tomorrow is overwhelming, and we will offer symbols and the potential hitherto. Please don't take offense because this study and belief in God or gods is amazing. And this video and my acts are positive in nature. Please let us learn, love, and be kind to one another and live as one in the spirit of God. Please leave your comments. First, one biblical example of Saturn and our sun found in Genesis 1.16. God or King Anu made two great lights the larger one to govern the day, and the lesser one to govern the night. He also made the stars. Next, I take you to Isaiah 2.2. Then we will compare what's called Inky and the world order in myth. Isaiah 2.2 And it shall come to pass in the last of days that the mountain of the Lord's house, or Inky, shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills. And all nations shall flow from unto it. Meaning all nations, not some, but all. And this is closer to Deuteronomy 32.8 and Psalm 107 for your further reading enjoyment. Next is Inky and the world order. Inky, the king of the Abzu, overpowering in his majesty, speaks up with authority. My father, the king of the universe, brought me into existence in the universe. My ancestor, the king of all the lands, gathered together all the Mies, placed the Mies in my hand. From the Ikur, the house of Enlil, I brought craftsmanship to my Abzu in Eridu. I am the Fukum seed engendered by the great wild ox. I am the firstborn of An. I saw the great storm who goes forth out of the great below. I am the lord of the land. I am the big brother of the gods. I am he who brings full prosperity. I am the record keeper of heaven and earth. I am the ear and the mind of all the lands. I am who directs justice with the king Anu on Anu's diocese. I am he who decrees the fates with Enlil in the mountain of wisdom. He placed in my hand the decreeing of the fates of the place where the sun rises. I am he who who had been called a good name by Ninhursag. I am the leader of the Anunnaki, and I am he who had been born as the first son of the holy King Anu. Before we display several symbols that, real, that you may realize that I may be wrong or right, my display will show you, without a doubt, at least a correlation of the numerology of 666 and the planet Saturn and how you may realize the majesty in amazement and how the Anunnaki united our world, set up every chunk of Earth's civilization and every part of existence that you may or may not realize currently. At best, this may blow your mind. Revelation 13.18 Wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. And we have all nucleic acids and all DNA, RNA, contain 
six protons, six electrons, and six neutrons made out of carbon. Remember, the planet Saturn's north top pictured here has six hexagonal points. It is the sixth planet and is the sixth day of the week, equaling to 666. King Anu is known for this planet and also Ninurta and most gods in our history. So who set this up and who rebelled against God? When the rebel giants or angels first met upon Mount Hermon to organize their secret society of 200 members, Semyaze, as their recognized chieftain under Azazel, who had rebelled against God and the heavenly host, initially doubts the initiative's resolve to forswear heaven. This they had planned to achieve through dark combinations and clad destined oaths. Under the penalty of death, thereby binding themselves to that treachery in which they had to use their heaven-acquired knowledge to create a counterfeit religion on earth to satisfy their lust and carnal desires. Enoch 10.9 And to Gabriel said to the Lord, Proceed against the bitters and the reprobates, and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication, and the children of the watchers from amongst men, and cause them to go forth, send them one against the other, so that they may destroy each other in battle. For lengths of days shall they not have. So basically use time in order to divide and conquer us, so that we will fight against each other, and we are divided. And since we only have 120 years max, the planet controllers use this to our advantage or to their advantage. We need to be one. Six-pointed star at every booth at the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. Anuit Copetus, meaning God approves. And the word Anu is clearly in the word Anuit. So does King Anu approve? The name, the Holy Bible, with the word I at the end. Clearly this is on our dollar bill and it's a six-pointed star. Pictured here is Nana Sin. Enlil's son, who is said in most myths to create all three religions with Abraham, and Abraham is the father of all three religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Pictured here is Utu Shemesh, and he is hanging his son, or the planet Saturn's representation of the sun or the black sun. The Star of David, which represents Israel or Judaism, this star has six mini triangles, six interior triangles, and six hexagonal shapes inside the interior. This represents 666. Planet Saturn's top has six points. It's a six planet, and it, they worship the planet Saturn on Saturn's day, on the sixth day of the week. Clearly we have some correlations to the numerology of 666. In Mecca we find the Islam religion going around a cube black in color. Black is also the color of Saturn. They go around the black cube in a counterclockwise formation. This represents the northern top of Saturn's storm. Also in geometry it is called a cuboid cube and is a three-dimensional solid object bound by six square faces or sides with three meeting at each vortex. This is also called a hexahedron, which is any polyhedron with six faces. Six faces times three dimensions to the cube equals to 18. Six plus six plus six equals 18 equals to 666. Pictured here is the northern top of Saturn, and the storm goes in a counterclockwise position, just like the formation in Islam at Mecca. 
a black cube representation. In Mark 15, 34, Jesus called out on the cross at his death, Elo, Elo, Lama Sakbakteni, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was calling out to Helios, and Helios is a representation to the planet Saturn. And when you fold out a cross from a cube, you see the cross to the cube. It's a formation to the planet Saturn. This is the landing pad found in the book, The Twelfth Planet. And this is Utu Shemesh's symbol, or the Anunnaki's landing pad in Israel, or Jerusalem. And Shemas means shining. His city, along with King Anu's, was in Sapur, and his symbol was a winged sun disk. His house was called Ibabar, the shining white house. Is there a correlation to the planet Saturn and Utu Shemesh's ancient ziggurat in Sapur called the shining white house? We've all seen this one before, and there are so many symbols of the planet Saturn and I'd like to have you leave your comments to see what you think. Here are six points. This company on Main Street has a six hexagonal shape logo with six interior flowing design. This is two sixes and I'm wondering if the planet Saturn is the third six. Another symbol from Main Street, and it appears that it represents the planet Saturn. It looks identical to the planet Saturn. Maybe. <laughs> P is the 16th letter, and F is the 6th letter. And oddly enough, this company builds on the 17th. And regardless, this may lead into other videos, because at a certain point in time, I believe that Saturn was our sun in the golden age. And these gods moved our planet in tow, and I mean earth, to our location and gave us our sun, moon, etc. Because why in the world do we see everything on this earth revolving around the planet Saturn? So in the Bible, we have Tammuz, and he is also known for the planet Saturn in Ezekiel 8. And in this text, we may find the answer. Ezekiel 8.14 He brought me to the north gate of the Lord's temple, and some women were sitting there, weeping for the god Tammuz. Have you seen this, he asked, but I will show you even more detestable sins than these. Then he brought me into the inner courtyard of the Lord's temple, at the entrance to the sanctuary between the entry room and the bronze altar. There were about 25 men with their backs to the sanctuary of the Lord. They were facing east, bowing low to the ground, worshiping the sun. Is this the transformation to our sun to now what Saturn is known for currently? Because Saturn is known for the black sun. But in antiquity or many generations before us, it appears it was the sun. So the potential of the Anunnaki growing up planets, per se, from Saturn is of high potential. So here we have two sixes. You have three exterior, lower, and three upper, making one six, and six other sides in the inside of this symbol. Some more symbology that may equivalent to the planet Saturn as the central sun in the past. This logo has six exterior sides and another six-sided two pyramids equaling to sixes. Is the third six the planet Saturn? 
Enki is known for the serpent of life and wisdom in the Garden of Eden. And so is King Anu, Demuzi, or Ningazida. And this is found in Genesis 3-4. Here we have a serpent that controls the world's health. This is the medical caduceus of the doctor's badge. Genesis 3-4, you won't die, the serpent replied to the woman. God knows that your eyes will be open as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. Inky is the original serpent who started mankind, arts, civilization in Mesopotamia, in his hometown of Aridu. Who knows how long ago, but he is the serpent, and his symbol is the serpent still used today in science and medical and this was later transferred to Ningasita, his son. And this is the Pope's staff with two serpents. And interestingly enough, we have the sacred secretion of our spinal column. And Jesus Christ was 33 at his death. And we have 33 vertebrae. Another symbolic gesture to the god Inki. And one more, and this is called the fish hat, or the fish mitra, and this also goes back to the city of Aridu, to Inky's hometown, in the Abzu, and this particular mitra has the six pointed stars, the six mini triangles, and the six interior angles, equaling 666. Does Nike use the planet Saturn's rings as one of their logos? This company clearly used the logo and the name Saturn. One more reoccurring theme is the word six, and the six has an X in it. And this company, one of the world's largest, uses the X in their symbology. The Sheriff's Deputy Badge also has six points on it and also six interior points, making two sixes, along with many other gestures of justice because remember, the god Saturn is the divine god of justice. And since we have Saturn now is our black sun, the dress code is black, used for judges. Here we see Kronos, also known for Saturn, eating his children. And he is known to have a beard and known to be the father of time. In Mesopotamia, the first known civilization in Sumer, the Anunnaki Elohim created time and money. And Father Time always has a beard. In addition to this, we see the symbology of the Lord of the Rings with a beard. This is a very famous movie company called Columbia. And this is her as Columbia's logo. And from the movie Wonder Woman, we see Diana, and she is also known as Ishtar, can be traced to her. Pictured here is the torch of Ishtar, or the illuminating light of the planet Venus. And then we see the Statue of Liberty with the illuminating light. From time to time, you may see the famous people of Hollywood use the OK symbology of the one eye or the all-seeing eye with what appears to be three sixes, which can be traced to the eye of Ra or the eye of Horus. Pictured here is the eye of Horus in your head with your pineal gland to the far right. This is the seat of your soul. This is the southern 
pull of Saturn's all-seeing eye, the planet Saturn, and some more symbology from what we use every day of our lives, most of us. This is Google's symbol, logo. The Xbox also symbolizes Saturn. It's a box or a cube with an X. Sega Saturn didn't mess around. <laughs> X is the number 24 and P equals 16. 2 times 4 equals 8. 8 times 6 equals 48. 48 plus 1 equals 49. 4 times 9 equals 36 or 3 sixes. Is this all mere coincidental? Do you realize also there is three major news outlets in the world? Is this a mere coincidence? The eye of CBS comparative to the eye of Saturn. This is the eye of Saturn pictured here, the south pole of Saturn. A picture to bring it all home. One more image of NBC with six stripes on their globe. This company uses an X. This company uses six stripes on their globe. My kid's favorite channel growing up. <laughs> it's clear now that you see the ongoing stripes with the globe and the X. This is America's first one year anniversary of the Space Force as well. The reoccurring themes on Intel and Dell. Some more reoccurring themes with the planet rings of Saturn, King Anu's planet, and the six points pictured here. 2 Chronicles 9.13 Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 666 talents of gold. King Solomon was known to be the wisest man in the world. I wonder if he drank beer. <laughs> Some more symbology of the X. X. Similar ongoing themes here. Then we of course have the diesel 6.6 turbo V8. Nissan with a similar theme of Saturn rings with the planet Saturn. What a brilliant picture. Here we have Pepsi Cola with the symbol of the potential. You be the judge. Some more symbology. In this we have like the yin yang or the snake eating itself. And this is found on the emblem of this company. Clearly we have a symbol of Saturn. And this is the patch of the Cassini space flight to Saturn and Titan. My favorite actor, one of them, receiving the Saturn Award. And here we have the ongoing theme of what the Anunnaki set up here on Earth to this day. Last known picture of King Anu's ziggurat. Utu Shemesh with the son of Saturn. And here we have a cuneiform tablet with more than we see in our planetary system, but also we have the six-pointed sun right in the middle with the reaping what you sow farming implement known for the planet Saturn. More brilliant photo of the top point of the planet Saturn. Now, if you really want to be married to the planet Saturn, to your wife, and be 
in the middle of a relationship with God, King Anu, and your wife, or your husband, you get a Saturn wedding ring. If you want to hear King Anu and the vibrations and frequency, you put a Saturn earring on your ear. A worshiper of the black cube of Saturn. Black is the color of Saturn. Does men in black ring a bell? <laughs> now, if you really want to be something in this life, you have to graduate and put on your black robe representing Saturn. The yin yang symbol meaning both good and evil representations of Saturn. Pictured here is the black sun because now the sun of Saturn is black. This is the ancient bull from Mesopotamia and it contains the swastika and this relates to the Nazi Germany and other things, but mainly represents the son of Saturn. They misrepresented this in Nazi Germany, but this derives from the planet Saturn, the sun. The Nazi party's symbol. Soundgarden sung it best. Black hole sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? The Rothschild's house symbol with the six-pointed hexagon shape. Psalm 32.8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, and I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Today, I leave you with Colossians 3.4. Masters, be just and fair to your slaves. Remember that you also have a master in heaven. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? 80, matey. <laughs> Only because you are and I am a spirit of God. Peace and love to you. And always remember that you are a spirit of the most high gods. Thank you so much.